This is Song Shang Sheng. The 15-year-old spends his time in this room every day, 24 hours. Most of the time he sits in front of the computer. Chang Chung lives in a virtual world. He is addicted to the internet. I play all day. In China, teenagers like these are sent to places like this one. Behind barbed wire and properly locked in, in boot camps. Strict discipline, training, just like in an army camp. This is to help the addicted teens. We accompany Chang Chung to one of these camps. Chang Chung doesn't know yet where his father will take him. Dad, a drink. He hasn't been to school in six months. I don't go to school anymore because it's boring there. Computer games are much more fun. His father doesn't know what else to do. His last resort? The boot camp for internet addicts. We're there when Chang Chung leaves the house for the first time in months, under a different pretext. Allegedly, his father's taking him to a leisure camp. Turn the computer off. Completely off. When Chang Chung gets into the car, he has no idea what's in store for him. Months of training, iron discipline, and no computers. Leisure time, it certainly is not. Here, in the internet boot camp of the city of Jinan. Officially, a small elite school where 30 Chinese teenagers are treated. Minimum required age, 12 years. After arriving, everything goes down really quickly. Immediately, teacher Wang Song Gang picks up the teenager from the car. In an introductory conversation, he wants to know more about Shang Shung and his addiction. What do you feel when you play? Joy? Do you feel joy when you shoot someone in the head? Yes. It slowly dawns on Chang Chung, this isn't a recreational camp. But what will happen to him here hasn't been explained to him yet. I'm scared of what comes next. His father clears all formalities. The school costs over 500 euros a month, a considerable sum of money for Chinese families. In cities, the average income is just under 300 euros per month. However, Chang Chung's father has a small printing house. He can afford the anti-addiction camp. Strict rules apply here. His father and uncle took Shang Shung to the camp. They can't say goodbye. They aren't allowed to talk to him during his stay. It's a big sacrifice, but I'm doing it for my son. I wish for him to come back as soon as possible. This is where Chang Chung will sleep. Teacher Wang Song Gang explains the rules. Cell phones are prohibited, and private belongings like diaries are taken away from the kids. It's like the army in here. No secrets and we demand respect. Internet addicted kids are not in a position to talk to others. They just have to learn to do it again. I have to stay here for months. With no computers, where's my father? He's already left. I want to see my dad. He won't see him for months. When can I go home? Chang Chung feels alone and completely helpless. The next shock for him, he has to exchange his own clothes for a military uniform. In this camp for internet addicts, boys and girls are treated together, or better, transformed. Hi, I'm Chang Chung. I'm from Jinan. They start off with a game of basketball. Earlier in his life, Chang Chung enjoyed playing. In the past, when he still had friends. 
Since he only plays on his computer, he doesn't play sports anymore. In the game, Chang Chung gets the chance to get acquainted with his roommates. It sounds nice at first, but his life at the camp will not always be like this. Tomorrow the training starts, and that will be tough. What Chang Chung doesn't know either, he's being monitored around the clock. The next morning. 5.30 a.m. The day at the boot camp begins. We notice quickly the conciliatory tone from yesterday is gone. That's how you would picture a boot camp, a training camp for soldiers. But it's teenagers being treated here, according to the Chinese definition, sick children. Anyone sitting in front of a computer for more than six hours per day is considered an addict in China. In Germany, on the other hand, it's not about hours, but rather certain criteria such as negative feelings or a sensation of losing control. 6.30 a.m. Morning sports. With strict discipline, community exercise and 24-7 employment, teachers want to combat this addiction. We give them army training here to strengthen their weakened bodies. School lessons are also part of the plan, but above all, physical effort. The teachers sound like drill sergeants to us. They keep shouting at the teenagers. They demand obedience. Chang Chung is in despair. I can't believe that my father sent me here and that I have to do all these things. I miss my computer and I'm very nervous. Chang Chung comes from the neighboring Jinan, a city of six million inhabitants. His parents are divorced. He lives with his father in a 60 square meter apartment. Chang Chung's internet addiction began a year ago. His family blames his friends. He used to hang out with bad friends and play on their computers with them all the time. At home, he just kept on playing. His father didn't allow him to meet his friends. The 15-year-old rebelled and didn't want to go to school anymore. His father has to work a lot and has little time for his son. Left alone, Chang Chung sank more and more into the virtual world, a vicious circle. Chang Chung's uncle also tries to help. We switched off the internet connection, but then he stole money and escaped to the internet cafe. We would always have to search for him for days. We hit him too, and all this did nothing. When his father leaves the apartment, he even locks the boy in, so he can't go away. Now the internet boot camp is meant to save Chang Chung and a family lifestyle. While filming, we notice the teenagers don't have any spare time. Everything is planned to the last detail. At home, I never had to clean, but here, I have no choice. And that's exactly the plan. You scrub too slowly. Look at this. This is how you do it. Before breakfast, everyone sings an army song together. It's about freedom, the homeland and having a fighting spirit. Seven thirty a.m. Breakfast. A short time to relax. The wrong sign. Even during the meals, they're being trained. Talking during the meal is, of course, forbidden. How thoroughly the daily routine is timed is best proven by the next agenda item. 7.50 a.m. Toilet break. The next exercise sounds simple enough, but it isn't. 
standing still for 30 minutes. By standing still, the teenagers should finally learn self-discipline. It's true, it's not simply standing around. Shoulders back, the eyes 15 degrees towards the ground, heels together and the feet 60 degrees apart. It usually takes half a month for the students to get used to this position, but it takes much longer for them to do it. We notice nobody steps out of line. All follow the will of the teacher. Why this is, we want to know from Chang Chung. I do that, because the others do too. I don't want to be a negative presence. That's exactly what the teachers say. The group is important. Nobody wants to be the outsider. How uncomfortable that can be, Chang Chung experiences in the next exercise dancing. The 15-year-old can't quite master the steps yet and immediately feels isolated. He tries to hide his discomfort. I don't know what to do. Nobody has showed me how. We were assured that there's no physical punishment here. There are 250 boot camps for internet addicts in China. In some, the teachers use violence or work with electric shocks. The next task, overcome their limits and build body tension. This is what the exercise should look like. And that's what it looks like when Chang Chung does it. An important lesson for Chang Chung, not to give up. Always try pushing a bit harder. A first success. This motivates him, of course, to keep going on. The longer we stay, the more we get the impression that this is very similar to a soldier training camp. But to our surprise, Chang Chung likes it. It's exhausting, but it's fun. The lunch break lasts two hours. The youngsters are not allowed to leave the ground during their entire stay. Yu Ya Bo founded the school five years ago. Why are there so many kids addicted to the internet in China? On the one hand, there's a lot of pressure on our children and society doesn't really give them an opportunity to relax. And the second important reason, the kids try to get recognition and respect. And that's more achievable playing computer games than in real life. After the break, the next exercise. The teenagers are meant to support each other and form a table. The exercise is extremely demanding on the thighs. The kids have to hold out as long as they can. Mutual trust, an important lesson. At home, everyone is a lone fighter, isolated in his own little virtual world. Here, they have to work together again for the first time. Chang Chung finds that hard. I'm scared. Chang Chung has to fall backwards and trust his colleagues will catch him. He does it. It's very scary and difficult to trust others. But if I were home right now, I'd sit in front of the computer and feel tired. Today, I feel really good. Amazing. After only a short time at the camp, Chang Chung begins to realize that real life goes on outside and that he's addicted to the internet. Will this realization last? Or do the first successes make him euphoric? One thing is certain, he still has to go through a long, hard school. A stay in the boot camp lasts between four and six months. 
He may leave the camp today. He Song Chi after four months. In the last four months, I made great new friends here. Today, I go back home. I promise you, I will change. Um. Like everything else in the camp, the farewell ceremony is strictly ritualized. Hucks are exchanged with tears in their eyes. Allegedly, 90% of internet addicted teenagers leave the camps cured. We cannot verify the number, but we ask ourselves, transforming addicted teens with military training, can that really be the solution? I'm looking forward to seeing my family and my home again. I've worked so hard on myself, I won't be addicted to the internet anymore. 9.30 p.m. Bedtime. Chang Chung is completely exhausted. We were allowed to accompany him during the first days in the boot camp. Will he stick to the next months? He is confident. I'm convinced that when I go home, I'll no longer be addicted to the internet. Whether he really will succeed remains to be seen.